Yeah, so, so like I said, this was, uh, this slide is from Dominic. The, uh, he's a good looking guy living in uh, Zurich, I believe. Um, he was originally supposed to be here, but he couldn't make it for the health reasons. So I'm, I'm giving this talk instead of him. So, um, so as you may already know, Jenkins has this Groovy console support, which allows the administrator to execute arbitrary scripts on the server. So this is good, but it's got a number of, I guess, the limitations. The one being that the scripts that you can type in there is not persistent. So you as an administrator is responsible for keeping them elsewhere, and then whenever necessary, you need to cut and paste and run them. The other thing is, well, because this is an ability to run arbitrary program on the server, for the security reasons, it's restricted by default to the administrators only, so which makes it difficult to delegate certain tasks to other people. And then, so this is the, uh, there is no scheduling support built, built into it, so you, know, you cannot execute the single task repeatedly, for example, if necessary. And then um, there is also no means for the people at, in the community at large to share the scripts and reuse them. So everyone ends up writing similar scripts. So Domi is the guy behind the Scriptler plugin, which is his attempt to fix these problems. So first, um, this, what this plugin does is it, let, it stores the scripts and by allowing you to have names and uh, the uh, keyword and description and so on. And then so you can save them and then bring them back to execute later. So you don't have to do the cut and paste anymore to I run those scripts. And for the second issue of this being administrators only, um, the script plugin allows you to define, uh, I'm sorry, allows the administrator to define scripts with parameters and then delegate the execution capability of this script to other people. So assuming that you wrote the script correctly so that it behaves, you know, as, I guess the, against the, um, well, so in this way, you could control the security risk. Um, and then also, the other thing that you notice there um, is that you can control which node this script gets executed, and in particular, you can execute the same script on all the slaves at the same time. So if you need to run some bug processing over all the slaves, this is a pretty nice way to do it. And, and third, what this plugin allows you to do is to define a build step that executes these scripts. So that allows you to run the administrative scripts as a part of the job. And as you know, the Jenkins has the Chrome-like scheduling capability and so on. So you can make it a part of the bigger uh, workflow, or you can make sure that it gets executed periodically. And on the fourth point of the lack of reuse, so this plugin is actually connected with the uh, community's script repositories where people, we are trying to you know, encourage people to share their administrative scripts. And then this plugin allows you to import those scripts from the same UI by clicking this uh, save icons here. So you can browse all these scripts that's developed by the community and then import them into your instances and run those. So in this way, you know, we, are trying, we are hoping that there'll be a vibrant, the thriving community of the, the management scripts that people can share and reuse. Um, so the, there is a GitHub project called Jenkins Script where we are trying to collect these scripts. So if you got some of those scripts that the other people might be interested in, we encourage you to share those with us. Um, and Domi is think, trying to extend this beyond just the managed Groovy script. So he actually made this bit more generic and then tried to, um, I guess, use as a basis to share various other configuration files across slaves and across different masters. Um, so this part, I believe it's uh, the uh, relatively new part that perhaps it's still a work in progress. But for example, you know, sometimes let's say the Maven setting files or the, um, the 
grapes, I guess the Groovy scrape configuration files or something like that, you often have to uh, propagate across the cluster and often useful, often shareable among different instances in the same organization because they belong to the same network. So uh, he's, uh, it, it, there's a scheme that tries to allow you to, to share things all over. Um, this part I'm not entirely familiar with because it's pretty new stuff. So, um, so that's what uh, this presentation is about. Um, so the main thing is that this is packaged in the script of the plugin, so that's the thing that you want to install. Um, and with that, uh, thank you very much. I guess my part is over. <laughs>